Hey there, today I'll be showing you how to draw skips from regular show. So we start by drawing the eyes on either side, so two equally sized circles, starting with the one on the left, we'll circle around, and we'll draw one right beside it for the right. Let's go ahead and draw the pupil. So in the center here, I'm just going to draw a little black circle, and on the right side we'll do the same thing. From here I'm going to draw a curve for the brow line, just above each of the circles, starting on the left. We'll do a slight curve. Just above these two, we're going to draw two more short lines, just for the forehead wrinkles. And then in the center here, we're going to draw the nose. So starting on the left edge, on the inside, we're going to draw a curve going out, and then back up to the middle, and we're going to do the same thing flipped over on the right side. So curving down, and then just tucking this underneath the right eye. So in the center here, in between, we're going to draw three little short lines. So one in the middle, going straight down, and then one on the left, angling out toward the left and out towards the right. This is for just the whiskers. Under the eyes, we're going to have to draw on the bags. So on the left side here, just on the bottom of this curve, we're going to curve around towards the nose. Draw a curve like this. And then just underneath this, we're just going to draw another curve. On the right side, we're going to draw a curve going out and underneath the eye. And we're going to draw one shorter one just below it. Let's go ahead and draw on the mouth. Underneath these whiskers, we're going to start on the left side. We're going to curve up towards the right, and then we're going to curve down, and we're going to do a little curve coming down to the bottom of the mouth, and just back again. From here, I'm going to draw the teeth. So right in the center here, I'm going to come down the straight line, and we're going to go straight across. Inside here, we're going to draw two lines coming down vertically, just to separate the teeth. On the side here, I'm just going to draw a little wrinkle like that. On the bottom of the chin, I'm going to draw three lines, similar to what we did with the whiskers below the nose. I'm just going to draw three lines coming straight down. From here, we're going to move over to the side of the bag. So the bag underneath this eye, we're going to curve down towards the chin, and then we're going to curve up on the right side. So starting on the left, under here, we're going to curve down to the bottom of the chin here. It's so going out and slowly to the bottom of the chin. We'll go over to the right side. At the same height, we're just going to curve around on the right side. We'll just connect those lines, just like that. Okay, from here, we're going to work our way up towards the forehead. So the forehead is quite long. It's about the same length as the eye to the chin up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on the inside of this brow, and we're going to curve up and in. From here, I'm just going to do some hairline uh, curves. So up here, I'm just going to draw a curve like this and back up towards the right. We're going to do this again, little swoops. And we'll do another one here. And now from this point, I just want to come down, curve. So we're going to come down and then just pull that straight up. From here, I'm going to take this line and just curve in towards that cheek. From this point, let's draw in the hair that comes down and around the shoulder area. So there's a little peak here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to curve around the forehead, starting up here, around the forehead, and start to come outwards. I'm going to come out, and as we get towards the bottom of the cheek, we're going to curve out, just like that. We're going to pull this in with a curve and come in, and we're going to draw one more little curve and pull it back in. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So we're just going to curve around the head in the back, come straight down, and then start to curve out as we get towards the cheek. And we're just going to pull this in, and we'll do one more coming out and pulling that back in. Along the bottom of the chin, along here, just above the chest, we're going to do a series of curves. So from here on the left, we'll curve up. We'll just do these little loops. We're just going to continue this along the top of the chest, just like this. From here, I'm going to move down and do the chest. So just on the side here, I'm going to actually curve out the front of the chest and curve this back in. We're going to do another one here. So right in the center of the body, we'll curve in like this. In the center here, on the left, we're going to draw in the nipples. So here on the side, we're going to draw an oval. And then we're going to draw the letter C inside. Let's move over to the right and do the same thing. So we're going to draw an oval, and then draw the letter C. Okay, from here, we're going to move to the outside of the shoulders. We've got some pretty big shoulders that round out. So I'm going to start on the top here, just above the, the, the curves for the hair. We're going to curve out and just pull that back in. On the right, we're going to do the same thing. So big shoulder, just 
rounding out, and then pull that back in. Let's go ahead and finish off the arm on the right because this overlaps on top of the body, which overlaps on top of the arm here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the shoulder, the shoulder is one big circle. We're gonna start up here, and we're just gonna draw a curve for the inner part of the shoulder. From here, we're gonna draw the bicep. So I'm doing another curve. Up here, we're gonna do an overlap, right here, and just draw the back of the arm curving in. Now the arm, we're gonna draw basically, the forearm is almost like a circle. So from here, we're gonna curve around, and come down towards the bottom. We're gonna leave a little gap here. And then on this side here, we're gonna curve in the opposite direction. So doing a slight overlap, we'll curve in, leaving a gap here on the bottom. For the wrist, I just wanna draw a little bit of fur, like we did with the upper chest. We're gonna draw one, two, three little curves. And then underneath here, we're gonna draw the hand. So five little fingers that basically look like little curves. So on the end here, draw one finger. And then for the three fingers in between, we're gonna draw them a little bit longer. So one, two, three, and then the last finger will go a little bit shorter. Just tuck that in underneath the wrist. From here, let's go ahead and draw in the lower part of the body, so the stomach. Up here, we're gonna do an overlap and curve down towards the waist, which comes up to about halfway down this forearm. So up here, I just wanna curve in and around, just like this, and tuck that in underneath that forearm. Over on the side here, we're gonna draw a little bit of fur, just like we did with the upper chest. So on this side, we're just gonna draw a curve, draw another curve like this, maybe one more, and then just tuck that in underneath the waistline. For the stomach, I'm gonna draw some abs. So in the middle here, I'm just gonna draw a curve, a vertical curve coming down, and two lines to separate the abdominal muscles. Going across like that. Okay, and let's go into the pants. So down here, we're gonna draw the lower torso. Just over here on this side, I'm just gonna draw a little curve that goes in. On this side, we're gonna draw a curve that goes in the opposite direction. We're gonna leave space for the legs here. So two gaps, but under here, we're just gonna draw a straight line across. From here, I'm gonna draw the front part of the left leg. So curving down to right about there. On the right side, we're gonna draw the same thing. So the same curve, same length. On the bottom, we're just gonna draw a straight line going across, just like that. Up here, we're gonna draw that same curve going to the back of the leg, on the left, and on the right. Let's draw a little bit of pant detail. Up here, I'm gonna draw the buckle. So right in the center here, I'm gonna draw two lines coming down, and straight across for the buckle. In the middle here, we're just gonna draw a little pant fly. It's a little curve, and a curve. On either side here, we're gonna draw the belt loop. So two equally length lines on the left, and two on the right. And then just along the top, we're gonna to follow this curve of the waist and just tuck the belt in underneath, in towards the buckle, and then out towards the right side. Let's go ahead and draw on the feet. So with the feet, it's basically four toes. So we're gonna to come up to the heel, we're gonna curve around, and then we're gonna come out to the toe and then just pull that back. We're gonna do an overlap and just draw four toes. So one, two, three, and then four, pull that right into the front of the foot. We're gonna curve around the heel on the left side. And we're gonna do the same thing. So coming out and curving in one toe, do an overlap for two, overlap three, and then four right to the front of that ankle. Let's go ahead and finish off this arm here. So similar to what we have on the right, we're gonna draw the front of this arm here. So doing an overlap, curving around. Okay, so we want to make sure that they're similar height. We're going to come down to the wrist. We'll do an overlap, curve down towards the bottom, and we're going to draw the inner part of the arm here, leaving a gap along the bottom. We're going to draw those little fur edge for the wrist, so three little loops, and then same with the fingers. We're going to draw one short finger, and we're going to draw three long fingers in the middle, and then one short one on the end, tuck that in underneath there. And that is pretty much it. There we have it. There's skips from regular show. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like and share this with your friends. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.